Hey, everybody. May the 8th was the install date for the long hive. Y'all watch this tape of bees out of their original hive, move them into the long hive. I put on all my top cap follower boards, top cap boards. The bees over the brood nest have almost sealed the number eight hardware cloth. That one is sealed. That one lacks a little. There, you can see them in the hole here and here and there and here. I don't know, an attempt to create air movement, to close air movement, I'm not sure. If y'all got a theory, be glad to hear it. As you recall, we made the decision we were gonna run no follower board. We were gonna run no queen excluder. The temperature in this box is actually relatively cool compared to the heat of a hive. As you can tell, these bees, you got bees over here. These may be the slackers that are hiding from work. I, I don't know, but you got bees kind of hanging out. I've got all three openings on the box. Uh, the ones on each side are on the queen excluder dial. The one in the center is wide open. I see bees use all three. The main column of bees tend to use the open bore hole. Um, these bees get really cranked up in the middle of the day as far as flying in and out. They're working hard. So we're just going to check, give them a quick check, see what the progress is. I think uh, Corinne could probably remember, but I think we added at least four, maybe five frames of just foundation. Um, we were in a flow when we transferred the bees. They already had some honey put up. All right, so you're looking at the, the outside frame of this brood nest. Um, I got a frame here. I guess we'll just expose them all the way so you can kind of see where we're at with it and what we got going. There's a high beetle crane. Hmm. Parked one this year. He's a dead one now, but there was one. All right. All right, so let's just kind of see what we got going here. We're going to make it, we're going to get to that back there with that. All right, that frame has not got much more going on with it than it had when we put it in here. This was a foundation. How many frames are in here total? Only. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so that's the inside of that one. They pulled comb. Not a tremendous amount. They do have honey in that. They've done nothing on that side. These bees have gotten zero feed from us. This is all what they could collect. Did you look at that? Hmm. And like locked up. No further. What's that thing right there? Well, that is some burr comb. 
and it's the size of grown brood. All honey. This was a fresh foundation. What's on your side? A little bit of honey capped honey and uncapped. Okay. Same here. seeing a pattern here. Found the brood. Now I got to thinking the calculation on this queen, she has got to be, this has got to be her third season. So, although she's got good quilting there, she, oh wait a minute, she may have really showed out on the next frame. I'd better not. Talking Don't trash discount about her it yet. just yet. Is there larvae and eggs in that patch that they've got honey all the way around? No. No? Truly, during that nectar flow that they've been in, looks like they've repacked everything as well as they could around the brood. What we got? I'd say some brood. They don't like being in a box with that smoker. Yeah, she had, she showed out on that one. She's laid all that up since we moved her up in here. Say queen cell? Yeah. Y'all had expansion. And then here you are wanting to leave me. Or at least multiply. Y'all are not going to like what I'm going to do. 
Have we seen any fresh eggs? Is that open or just not finished? Not finished. This one over here is finished. I bet that's got one cooking in it. see some real young larvae. I don't know about eggs. I'd have to walk out there in the sun and have to Y'all's mama still here? Hmm? We're not superseding, are we? You know, if you go by what you read, what you hear, supersedure cells are typically middle to top. seen her. Have you? Nope. Pistol, are you mad because I made you quit playing with the chicks? Hmm? She's been kind of like all over this box. She has got a pile of brood over here. What do you got? I have brood. Pretty queen cells. You know, she missed her opportunity early to swarm. She never got up built up big enough in that other box. You know, 
if you look at that just right, that see where that would have been a third cell? Yeah. Kind of like it's chewed down, right? Mm -hmm. Could have been a dud queen growing in it. Could have been, we've had one hatch. All right, I think we got what, somewhere between two and four sails in here now? Mm-hmm. And have not run across her yet. Brand new cone we got drawn here. She could be on it laying. Putting up honey on my side. Oh yeah, she has been on there laying. But is she there now? I sure don't see her, do you? Well, they keep going back to it immediately, don't they? Mm -hmm. Smoker maybe running them back. I don't know. Man, that's a that's a hard call to make. Not finding her that trip through. And four sales, but we got some awful young. Look what they've done. Put it right back like I had it. Mm. Or they had it. Hmm. Well. I'm not certain why they like that corner so well. Is that the corner they come in at? In front of the entrance? No. Mm -hmm. it belongs right back in there like that. Hmm. 
What are you going to do? Well, naturally, I'd like to find her. If I can, I'm going to cut all them cells out. Then, we'll requeen them if they're sick of her. I just don't want them no more bees than there are. I just don't want them to swarm and drop this population that hard and then wait on getting it back up. Especially right now. Yeah, especially right now at the tail end of the honey flow. And she came right along and did a good job putting putting bees back in here. But it's obvious something's going on, whether She's gone, and they know it, and they took advantage to replace her. Or if they've just got it in their mind, they're going to replace her. But I have seen some awfully young larvae. I'm not going to say that I saw eggs, but I didn't. But there's some five, six day old stuff in here. I think they're irritated that smoke blowing over. Mm -hmm. They give up the mama. Y'all send her out and open where I can see her. Over here on this They get nervous moving faster now, ain't they? Now we got the smoker out of your face. Where's your mama?
Was she in there? It's loaded for bear. How developed was she? That one. I'd say egg and some really. Enough for it to be capped. Yep. Same deal. Look at here. Hmm. Now this one's capped. And I would not have thought far enough along to be. Would you? I don't know. They said thanks a lot, mister. Yep. Thanks a lot, mister. I left y'all two around there that I'm contemplating going back and squishing. And if I find your mama... I will. I'd rather do this on my time and not y'all's. You can always add a queen, huh? Yep. Now I don't even remember how far back it was to that other cell, do you? Mm -mm. I think it's actually on the back. You know, not finding her royal highness. <laughs> Bless thee. Thank you. Always leads you to not want to tear every chance down. But I think what I'll do is I'll tear every chance down. Do an inspection in about another seven days. Let's see what you got. Oh, there she is. Now, where oh, are you, Ben? Right there. Look at her. Looks she said, tear them down, tear, tear them down. Them, yeah, tear them down. I don't want to really, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. Boy, you, you got the nervous syndrome, though, don't you? I don't blame you. I'd be nervous, too, them queen cells hanging around, everybody <laughs> looking at you like that. All right. I don't know where you was or what you was doing, but there you are. Look at her bulldozing through them. I heard her. No respect, no respect. Or she said, R E S P C T. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> All right, well, that answered that question. Now, do you recall? I recall which one you said it was. That one? Let's see. If not, then you can buy me ice cream. <laughs> Okay. That's a good deal. It's a win-win for both. Now, what's it if it if it's not? I buy you ice cream. Either way, you can buy me ice cream. <laughs> that's kind of how I, that's kind of how I perceived it working. Oh, look. You get to buy me ice cream. I knew it. Y'all just messing up. Y'all gonna have to deal with your mama there for a little bit longer. See how developed they are. I don't think there's anything in it. Girl, she's laying y'all plenty of brood if y'all just let her do her deal. Y'all got room to expand. You 
नहीं रहा है Yeah, but I'm not certain it was going to make. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, then. Let's see, it's a bunch of brood and a fresh comb there, so we're going to put that back. She's a traveling rascal. She's got brood scattered all over. We're going to, here. Here, y'all got something else to work on. I'm going to put this messed up frame y'all got. I'm going to leave it on the outside wall. Y'all do that stuff just to aggravate me. Sweep that one under the rug. Nobody will ever know. That's right. Bar your little smoke here. This is how you got all this down here on this end. Yep, you're growing. Yeah, you're growing. I'm missing. I don't know what to think about this deal here. I think it's interesting that they don't come and try to fill up this empty space. I guess maybe it's just too much. And they much. don't. They don't spend a lot of time out here on this outside. Huh. This outside frame. But They're if really you left cool. one of those frames out in between. Oh, yeah, they'd pull you some comb so quick. And they'd say, hee, 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 hee. Look what we got. What y'all doing up here on the top? Yeah. All right, got a queen. Y'all short four swarm cells. All right, now we know. here i think that uh everything's going good as can be like i mentioned we're gonna we're gonna end up probably in a week week and a half be out of any type of nectar flow here in central arkansas um i'm enjoying this long hive uh, it sure is nice to come out here and be able to raise the lid work it see what's going on these bees in the days that they've been here have actually done quite a bit of work. The queens really started producing some brood, uh, getting a little bit concerned, like maybe they were gonna requeen her. We did find her, um, tore down the cells, and, you know, she could, she could, I definitely will not leave her in here and trust her for this winter. So we may requeen this box a little later on, but right now they're, they're running wild uh, no, no fodder rows on each side, no queen excluder. They are making honey here on this end. Um, lots of brood in the new comb on the other end. Uh, I'm going to put a little more ventilation in this box. I, I've made up my mind. I'm going to put in at least three vents to the back of the box where I can turn them vent uh, only for air purposes. The box stays relatively cool. But I think if, as we get hotter, they're going to need a little bit more, a little bit more air. Um, well, there again, we're in learn mode with this, just like everybody else who starts with a long hive. I think we all got to settle in on what's going to work and what's not. So we're finding our way with it. Hope you're having great luck with yours. Till we see you again, roll that beautiful bee footage. Thanks for watching.